Are you excited about your new lady friends? Well, when you woke up today, did you think you were getting four more bison? I did not. Hey everyone, welcome back to the farm. It's Brad with Batchelder Family Farms, and you can tell I'm here with the stock trailer hooked up to the truck, so that only means one thing. We're going to get more animals. Stick around. Just got here to the livestock auction, gonna go in and pay and get them loaded up. Okay, I'm just gonna take a minute and share a really just crazy story. Um, went in, pay for our four animals that we bought. And uh, the lady that was, that I was writing the check to asked, hey, I, I have an, uh, an uncle with the last name Batchelder. It would be crazy if uh, you guys were related and she told me the name and I said, well, I had a, my biological grandpa who I never met and didn't know, um, left my grandma when, uh, way before my dad was little. And I was like, that was his name. So she calls, um, her mom. And then from there she calls her aunt and I, we don't know a hundred percent for certain, but very confident, same name age almost identical the middle name uh, they know his initial um, and uh, my dad knew knows his middle name knows what it was so I'm like 90% sure and just a chance encounter you just never know <laughs> who you're gonna meet who you're gonna run into um, it, it was just I've I had goosebumps uh, there's a couple people in the office that were there and they just dove right in Luckily, they weren't busy. I'm kind of here at the end of the day. So I think I just met a long lost family member uh, picking up some bison. So there's that. Got three here and this mama right here. Well, soon to be mama. Whoo, okay, just got them loaded up. I've never done that before with bison at a sale barn. Uh, getting ready to head out here and take them home, but loaded up okay. Uh, all the guys at the sale barn were all good from the buffalo sale today, so hopefully uh, we get home and can get them with their uh, their new family. excited about your new lady friends? Huh? Are you excited about your new lady friends? They're excited to see you. Ooh. Yeah, you're really feeling it today, aren't you? Extra rough. Extra rowdy there, big guy. So we've got Sawyer over there feeding Chief and Phyllis. That way it keeps Chief away, hopefully. We're getting ready to let these three out. Alright, we've got the first three buffalo out. You want to go let the other ones out? Yeah. Alright, do you have a name for any of them? Um, Chief. Chief? Well, we've already got a Chief. We'll think of some good names. Can you girls tell something's going on? Guys are excited. Oh, no, no, don't. No, 
might just be stressed. She's stressed, so we don't want to put her under any more stress. Okay. So you think she's going to have some fingers to be able to go. Well, when you woke up today, did you think you were getting four more bison? I did not. <laughs> we worked, uh, well, Jenna worked the store. I worked the mm -hmm. farmer's market. Peter Cole went down to Mocan Livestock Auction where they have their yearly bison sale. And uh, we weren't able to go because we were doing this. And I had asked him, hey, if you see some animals that would fit what we're doing here and are good quality animals. And uh, hoping he'd find a couple and... He found four, so we're very, again, very thankful and lucky to have Peter. Um, these four look, two of them are uh, yearlings. They're about a year old. They're really nice. They're probably uh, my two favorite. Um, then we've got the pregnant one. We don't have names for them yet, but she's third period. She could, I, I don't know, she could any time within the next 90 days, probably sooner than that. And then we've got a really pretty black one um, that, uh, Peter wasn't going to get, but she was just so pretty. He's like, it's, she's exactly what you guys want. So we got her. That was a mosquito. Oh, thank you. Um, and we'll just get some video here and uh, just watch how they already start their pecking order. Um, they're, uh, they're already going at each other. So this is our pen of five with Linda and Kay and Jane and Babs and Lucy. Here's our new one. Um, she's got the tag on her. She's a coming three-year-old. These five are playing much nicer with her than Chief and Phyllis are playing with the other three. This is the one that is, I thought it would be Chief, but Phyllis is the one that's taken charge and uh, not super excited about the other ones. Yeah, keep your hands back. Keep your hands back. Easy, big guy. So you can see the white tag. What, are we, you're not on film, so you're getting upset with me? You can see this white tag, the two white tags here behind Phyllis are the one-year-olds, coming one-year-old, and then this one, this little bluish green tag in her left ear, two-year-old. She is beautiful. They've been in here for, oh, about five, six minutes now, and the new has kind of worn off a little bit. They were pushing them around. Um, one thing that's unfortunate, it looks like Phyllis is in heat and uh, Chief has been acting pretty rambunctious the last few days. So I'm pretty confident she's in heat and uh, that means she's not gonna have a calf this year. Um, but that's all right, she's nice and healthy and she's our, she's our favorite right now. So as long as she's healthy. She's your favorite? Yeah, she's my favorite. Oh. And I also have the one who fed her first. Oh, she was the first bison that we fed out of our hand here. We? We? Me. Okay, you're right. You did. But but we're tied right now. I fed three and you fed three first. Well, that's not going to last forever, man. Oh, well, there goes Phyllis again. So the advice from Peter that um, was definitely a question I had, he said, do not put the brand new bred cow in here. 
royal bred heifer because when the boss cow Phyllis and the bull uh, start creating a pecking order, they will push on her and we don't want that with the baby calf. Um, he's definitely, they've definitely pushed on him. This side, not so much. They're more just sniffing her out, but these guys are getting pushed on. So, and they're still learning the pin. Um, hopefully, I'm hoping they stay out of the corners. What a day for us today, being able to bring more animals to our herd, uh, just bringing in young heifers still right now and putting them in these two pens so we can get them used to us, get them used to people. Again, proceeding with caution, um, just feeding them through the fence, but just to be able to experience the American bison up so close, um, listen to them, watch them out here playing with each other. It's... Uh, the two pens are really close. They are quite interested in each other. So it's going to be very unique to uh, to see how the next few days unfold. And hopefully everybody calms down and uh, starts getting along well. And eventually we'll bring them all into the same pen before we let them out into the big pasture in a month, I hope. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. We hope everyone stays well and we'll see you back here real soon. Starting to get acclimated to their new home.